What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. Let's get right into it. We have two months worth of buys. Let's kind of breeze right through this a little bit. Some LCS love. Always special shout out to my home base, Panther Comics. I, my favorite store, of course. I always picking up stuff there pretty much every week. New Mando Comics come out, so I'm going to get my 25 copies. Get that one in 50. Creep Show is pumping, which is a book I'm stoked to see on the shelves. I still have to read it. I think I'm going to wait till it's over to read through the whole thing. Inspector and Heroes has been awesome, but that's a book that, uh, it really feels made for me. And uh, some Fangoria's can't hurt. That was cool to see. On the road, plenty of road trips last two months. Back to Colorado, there's always great shops to hit up. Plenty of antique stores to go around. Vintage Zilla lollipop holder was kind of weird, but that's probably my best find. Still some great finds, though. First off, your Bullock, plenty of other minor keys and run fillers. Hero Headquarters was a nice shop to check out. Great wall books, very clean display cases, very cool looking store. I uh, found an issue Eerie I needed uh, to fill out my run and kind of gawked at that Pumpkinhead statue because that's it's nice. I don't know if it's $800 nice, but it's nice. I think it is what he's asking. Something like that. Another abs game later, which we won, by the way. Basically, Fantasy Comics was a nice small little shop. It's pretty cool to check out. Found some random buys and the infamous issue where Spider-Man talks about his uh, past experiences, we'll call it. <laughs> um... And, of course, I had to go back to Visions Comics and Oddities. It's an amazing shop. I highly recommend when in the area. Love the Killer Clowns Matter Space and Metronic. Grabbed up a couple of random movies, some sleeper books. Finally, I can lay claim to the first balance. Got a couple other books, like the last Red Wolf key I needed and that Death of Electra. Uh, then I went up north from my area in Jersey to see the Avalanche Devils game. Hit up some local shops. Zap never disappoints. And, and the uh, Wayne location is always packed with good stuff. Always. Uh, grabbed the... Great Marvel Horror Magazine, which I got to take a picture of, so, and post that up on the Instagram. Later, prints of that first uh, Black Crusade, that's a good book, which I think I got third and a fourth print. I still need that fifth print. And a bunch of great 50 cent books couldn't leave behind. Next up was Time Warp Comics, which wasn't a store for me, but to each their own. Uh, it was more of a game shop. They didn't have really a lot of what I was looking for, but I did grab a Platt Moon Knight cover. Can't get wrong with that. And a minor Iron Man key for a buck. Uh, but I had to leave behind some books I was interested in because they weren't yet priced. Um, yeah, and then Eastside Mags was a cool shop to check out. Nice guy there. Although I didn't find anything there except for a Halloween DVD. Uh, the grading system threw me off, though. They had an, an 8.9 and a 9.5, which had me a little bit confused. But overall, still a cool story. I don't quite know how they get their grading system, though. And right around the corner from the stadium was Fortress of Solitude, which is a great shop. Not the best location, but once you're inside, it's worth it. Very long uh, store. Very, very cool to check out. A lady behind the counter was nice enough to work with me on some uh, tough Godzilla variants for the CCPC, which I appreciate. And then the Avs lost the game, so that was a great way to end the night. Uh, showtime. Always new shows. Uh, it was prime show season. So first show in the month, I think it was early September. Uh, when Scott who played with this, had a street show going down. And, you know, I had to attend, set up two. Great buys, great selling as always. Definitely a good time. Found some minor keys and a few Star Wars builder figure pieces, stuff like that. Some nice stuff. Um, RetroCon is always a highlight to set up at. Always a great buys, too. Definitely one that's always on my calendar. It's one of my favorite shows in the area, of course. And speaking of another favorite show, this is one of my favorite comic shows of all year, Chud. Uh, Bill B. from Frankenstein Comics puts on one hell of a show. And with dollar books, you can't go wrong. Avengers Academy 1, hip-hop variants, Secret Wars run fillers. Uh, both were on the Secret Wars, actually. The Watchmen, all this and more, less than a dollar each. I can't go wrong with Chud. And man, was I sweat and load up that box truck. Speaking of Chud, doing some dollar bin digging. Those dollar books, you know, started with some Chud finds. Got some great sci-fi books. Machine Man 1, Early Swamp Thing Issues, Transformer Run Fillers, Tales of Suspense. I mean, less than a buck, plus so much more. You know, you can't really go wrong. Uh, more, even more run fillers for my Thor run, which I'm getting close to completing. That would be very exciting. Marvel Premiere, uh, Alice Cooper issue was cool to see. Ultraman issues, still poly bag with the cards, Doom covers, Kool-Aid Man issues. Early 100 range, Fantastic Four issues, and so, so much more. Over a short box and a uh, diamond box came home from Chud alone. The flea market found some cold check comics and a f almost, a, I think, the full Animal Man run in dollar bins. I think I paid like 30 bucks for the whole run, 20 bucks, something like that. So that was cool. And um, and the cold check comics, I didn't even know it existed. That was very exciting. 
Uh, Zap's 50 cent bins had some great early bronze run fillers for the Hulk and a first airwalker in decent shape. 50 cents, you can't go wrong. Plus some run fillers for AVX, Doctor Strange, Transformers, reader copies, and a bunch of minor keys I couldn't leave behind. I think I built like a short box there. They're just 50 cent books and a couple other price stuff. I uh, got some mail calls in. Gardens Will Massacre is one for the watches I finally have. And Frank and Oker on Blu ray. Go check out my review on that one if you haven't already. And while you're at it, check out the review on Rubber. Put that one on your watch. It's a, it's a hell of a film. It's one I recommend checking out. Foreign books are always fun. Tough to find, so these Arabian Batman reprints were a different kind of pickup. And classic Gotham Manor covers, just a favorite of mine. I don't know if I'll ever have, what's it, like, Detective 28, 32, something like that, where, where it actually gets being homage from. That's what I would love to own someday. But uh, it kind of goes, the Gotham cover really does kind of go under the radar. And uh, in good condition. But uh, that Jack in the Box book dropped. Mark Hamill's comic adaptation um, about time use work. It's just a fun book that gave away promotional. And you uh, could get it shipped to you under a limited time. So if you knew about it, you could have got it. I think everybody got those in a little bit beat up shape. Because it just came in a, a regular mailer envelope. But still, it's a cool book and you can't complain for free books. Keeping it on video, I bought a whole lot of movies this last two months. I, I don't know why. I love horror movies, so they're usually easy sell to me. And with a whole lot of flea market finds and private buys of a buddy of mine, there's no shortage of mostly horror movies to go around. I mean, between Merchantville, Retrocon, Colorado, buying off my buddy, several flea market trips, I bought way too many movies. Uh, action figure chaos, it really is chaos. Uh, Merchantville, I snagged an assortment of builder figure droids for just five bucks for the whole bag. Can't go wrong with that. And a nice Jedi figure, too. Too good to pass up. Retrocon is always a yearly hi highlight, excuse me. And uh, shout out to all the fellow dealers there for sure. Plus, plenty of great buys. I mean, the art the clown was definitely exciting. I uh, I kind of want to get that signed. I haven't decided if I'm going to um, Monster Mania this month or not. But uh, if I do, I'll bring that with me. But Al Carter Ultraman, Box Godzilla Wars, The Creeper, Bigfoot, Wishmaster, Castle Freak, HG Cores, and even more. I mean, you, Retro Connie can't go wrong. And it was only there for the... Uh, the Sunday, I was in there on Saturday or Friday, and I still, I still went crazy. Got a few new Godzilla figures gifted me for a few buddies of mine, great, which I greatly appreciate. Those are my guys. Um, one of them has his own video in the works coming out in the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. And then I picked up this Ned B at Walmart eventually to add to one of my dioramas. It's just cool. I think he was on clearance. Um, got some, a couple keys, nothing too crazy. I think like only two major books really. Uh, X-Men 6, I got at Scott's show. That was a great snag for my buddy Vince. I highly appreciate. Definitely a good book. And I bought it before, right before that, uh, trailer came out. So I'm sure that book spiked. I didn't even look. And I got the Scratch and a lecture off my want list. Definitely a book I think has plenty of legs to stand on and room to grow. That's a book I, I was looking for for a little while. Plus plenty of minor keys throughout the months. You know, the Valance, Captain America 101, stuff like that. But... I'm always buying stuff. I mean, I bought too much stuff in the last two months. I can't even talk about all of it here. Um, but follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I got plenty of other stuff on there. But the last segment I usually do here is the Fallen Soldiers. And, of course, there's plenty of Fallen Soldiers. Doing these shows, it's always good to rotate out the old with the new. And uh, although I accidentally got rid of my Kenner Terminator figures, that's something I'm hunting down to replace. Kind of sad. I didn't realize they were in the box. It's stuff to sell. I got to put a, uh, like a box together out of my stuff. And a few of the buddies did the show with, and uh, I got mixed in. But it's all good. Uh, I'll replace them eventually. Some Star Wars figures, Godzilla, Ultraman, all doubles that bit the farm. My Marvel Legends collection's really been dwindling, but uh, I slowly fall out of love with that line. Now, there's a few figures I always keep, but Marvel Legends just isn't what it used to be. Uh, but that's really it. Thanks, guys, for sticking to the end here. I just recently organized my collection, so it's a miracle I found everything I needed for this video. Uh, if you're not familiar with the channel, I'll drop a new weekly video, sometimes bi-weekly, but I try to keep it weekly in, a, in the month of October. It's uh, every day, but they're not. Uh, but I'm always dropping hauls, spec talk, new reviews, all kinds of different videos. So uh, follow me here, and I've got a Facebook and Instagram with daily content linked in the description. And a Facebook group, Phantoms Unleashed, where you see a behind-the-scenes look at Connors Comics. Great discussions you can join, and just an amazing group I'm very happy with. So go check all that out in the description, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.